Hello again, this is Lock Noob, and this does have to be one of the strangest locks in the world, the Lay's Chain Key Lock, also known as the Snake Key Lock for obvious reasons. The key is a retractable chain that carries a bitting much like a normal lock, albeit one that is highly flexible. You can see that there is a solid version of the key included with the key set, so that a copy of the key could be cut from it, assuming of course that you could find somewhere that would do that. The key is flexible since it has to navigate a longitudinally curved keyway, and the key is injected into that keyway prior to the lock being able to be turned. This type of lock seems to have been made by a few manufacturers, including Lays and HYT, but don't appear to be easily found now. The first time this lock came to my attention was through a video from Bosnian Bill, for which I will leave a link in the description. I was blown away by the innovative design used for the key and the associated lock, and I certainly never thought I'd ever be able to get a look at one myself. Fortunately for me, the locksmith, tool manufacturer and distributor Vent in Germany kindly lent this one to me from their private collection. Researching this lock led me to a Gizmodo article, also linked in the description, that highlighted some patents for a snake key design going all the way back to 1990, with a later revision of the design being patented in 1995. Let's now have a look inside this wonderful lock and explore all of the features it has, but before we do, it's worth noting that it is actually possible to pick this lock despite the security features I'll show you, and I'll do exactly that on a follow-up video. So here we are, the lock and the key. If we look at the keyway itself, you'll already be able to see you can't see very far down, and you might even be able to see the walls of the keyway either side curving away from you. You'll also notice that they appear to be grooved from top to bottom. We'll explore that a little bit more later. Let's have a look at the key in more detail. You can see that the chain key itself is shrouded inside the body of the key, obviously to keep it protected if you throw this in your pocket so that the chain links don't get twisted, deformed or even broken. It's actually quite nicely engineered. You can see that it has the patent lettering on the key itself and you need to see the branding there that the company who made this is Lay's. If I move the chain all the way out you can see how it's pieced together much like the wrist strap on a chain link watch. You can even see the little pins on the underside. It's very cool. You can see how the bitting of the key is actually cut directly into those chain links as well. It's really, really nice and it retracts very, very smoothly. I think what we need to do is see this lock taken apart and that isn't too hard to do. The first thing we need to do is remove the circlip off the back. That can be a bit tricky because it doesn't appear to be a standard size, but with the right tool, we can just remove it quite relatively easily. Now we've removed the circlip off the back, the next thing to do is of course remove the core or the plug from this body and the Bible. To do that, we'll need to insert the key which you do like any other key apart from the injection step. Engage them, push the whole chain in, and then you'll see that the whole lock can turn left and right as you need. What we'll need to do is the key pins will be here, so move them towards us. Find an appropriate follower like this one and gently push that through like that. The core itself is in two parts, actually more on the inside, so we have to be very careful when handling this. I'm just going to empty the pins out into the pinning tray here, and then we can have a look at this core in a lot more detail. So here are all the key pins, and you see that there's nothing special about them, they're a very standard, normal key pin, no extra security features like tapers or serrations. Now you'll be able to see that this core will split in half, and there are more features inside. You can see on this side that there are two anti-drill hardened steel pins which should just tip out. These pins are just hardened to stop drill attacks 
from the front of the lock. Just looking at the keyway itself, you can see that it is curved in a sort of S shape longitudinally along the length of the keyway. And you can see here that there are cutouts for the pin chambers at the top, and that's actually very helpful when picking this lock. It means that you are able to feel where those pins are just a little bit more easily. So there's the first pin, second, third, fourth, and fifth in the lock. Other features of this keyway are that there are grooves all the way along it, and even little cuts here and here and here where the angle of the keyway itself changes. That's so that if you were going to put a tool in, it may get caught up on these grooves or even these little cuts like that to stop the tool from being able to snake much further down. And they really, really do work in stopping tools from getting in and out of that keyway. The bottom half of the keyway has similar features, but it also has these little removable plates which have little serrations and cutouts on them as well, just again to stop tools from being able to enter that keyway. Underneath those little plates are even more sections and again you can see quite clearly here how there are cutouts and grooves along each of these sections to try to ensure that any tools going inside will be caught up. And here is the bottom half of that cast keyway. And it, once again, you can see all of those grooves and traps on the walls of that keyway. If we were to take the key and insert it along the length, hopefully be able to see how it works like this. I don't know about you, but that's so cool. I'm going to do it again just to show you look at its snake round it's really quite amazing isn't it such innovation in its design you can see why it might not have taken off because of the cost associated with the complication but wow that is really something so we've seen the wonderful snaking core and so we've seen the wonderful snaking core and all of the grooves and traps cut in it to stop tools being entered into that curving keyway. Let's now have a look at the pins from this other half of the lock. So these are where the driver pins sit. And the first thing you'll notice is that the, the first chamber doesn't have a pin in at all. It has a small ball bearing. Why does it have a small ball bearing? Well. That's because if we look at the top of the top half of the plug, we'll see that there is a small indent there for a ball bearing to, to fit in. And that just means that the core locates itself at the top and doesn't flop around. A ball detent mechanism. Now let's get onto the actual driver pins and gently remove these. And as I'll show you in a second, these are not high security pins. They are all standard security driver pins. So the security of this lock relies entirely on its neat engineering not on the pins that it has inside it. So there you go, that is the Lay's, so there you go, that is the Lay's snake key or chain key lock and what an amazing piece of engineering it is. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope you like this lock as much as I do. Thank you again to Vent for lending this to me. If you like this video, please leave a like if you want to ask me any questions about it or have a comment to make, please leave a comment below. I read as many as I can and answer as many as I can. 
And of course, if you haven't subscribed and want to see more content like this, please, please, please consider subscribing. Okay, thank you and I'll see you next time on the video where I try to pick this exact same block. See you next time.